believe in the power of photos. Well, I do. Photos are proven to show powerful emotions and raise awareness when needed. However, do you believe the power I just mentioned has always been used by involved parties without damaging our ethics? And that's when a situation called poverty porn comes in. Poverty porn is basically a tactic used by NGOs and charities to gain empathy and donations from people by showing exploitative imagery of people living in destitute conditions. An example of poverty porn is Dreaming Food by Alessio Momo, which aimed to raise awareness for the starvation in India. A while ago, Alessio Momo was strongly criticized over his artwork because people thought that it was highly unethical and offensive to capture people with a feast they probably weren't able to eat. But do you actually think it's offensive to people that are in need? In my own opinion, its concept is bizarre, yet a bit offensive. However, would the problem with these people ever be noticed if it hasn't been noticed and criticized by society? And how easy it is to attract the interest of the audience? And to give another example to this case, we can mention a 1993 photo by a South African photographer, Kevin Carter, showing a young Sudanese girl with a vulture perched near her. He was also strongly criticized because people thought that he should have taken that girl to the nearest safe area instead of taking her pictures. And unfortunately, Carter took his own life and the criticism he received after taking this photo was also shown as a reason for his death. And my personal opinion about this is that society, yet again, exaggerated the sensitivity and it cost it the man's life. And to what extent do you think it's ethical to criticize someone who only aims to try to raise awareness so hard that it concludes on homicide? And do these people also have blood on their hands? And even though the criticism is harsh, it also has some points. People tend to look down on poverty porn because the problems subjects suffer from still remain the same after the photos. And the people that are photographed or filmed often aren't asked for their consent. And the ones that let their footage or photos be taken often accept the offer thinking they could maybe be saved. However, the given promises are empty and the problems still continue at its full speed. And maybe raising awareness could also be done in an unethical way. And when we think about this issue from the perspective of mimesis, the theme of this event, different questions arise. For ancient Greek philosophers like Plato and Aristotle, art was an imitation of the human experience, an interpretation of divine ideas. The reality was considered a kind of imperfect reflection of reality, and art would remain as true and real as reality. And according to Aristotle, all art was mimetic, and the urge to imitate was an inherent human quality. Imitation could improve, worsen, or be accurate. Imitation, however, did not have to be through image or poetry. It could also be through rhythm, melody, word, shape, action, color, and even dance. And Aristotle's mimesis, however, was not a realist imitation, but rather an interpretation of the outer world as well as the inner world, where feelings, actions, ideas, and etc. express and enjoyed by us humans. And in this book, Republic, Plata distinguishes between narration or report and imitation or representation. And mimesis shows that it untells by means of action that is enacted. Diegesis, however, is the telling of a story by a narrator. The narrator may speak as a particular character, or maybe the invisible narrator, or even the all-knowing narrator who speaks from outside in the form of commenting on the action or the characters. And if we approach poverty porn as a story or message intended within a story, it might be taken to embrace diegesis. The narrative space of these photos includes all the parts of the story, both those that are and are not actually shown on the camera. The narrative space of these photos includes the audience, audience and the photographer beyond the pure representation of the scene. And finally, the point I want to touch upon is although these photos have received a lot of criticism, they have also received awards and raised awareness in their own ways. So, my questions are, is it correct to criticize something, knowing it's plotted and its only aims to raise awareness? And would the voices of these people ever be heard if it weren't for these photos? And it's clear that they are beyond pure mimetic representation.
And in my own opinion, the true intention lies in a diegetic dimension, which has to be considered on an individual basis. Thank you.